Okay, we're going to look at finding the angle inside a sector. Okay, so what you've looked at so far is to find the length of the arc. This bit here, or to find the area of the sector, which is the amount of surface inside. Now, this time, I'm going to be asking you to find the size of the angle in here, because so far in each question that you've done in class, you've always been given that information. So, let's start with an example one. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so you've got a sector, and I'm going to say that the angle is X, and that's what we're looking for. I'm going to say that the radius here is 5 centimetres, and the area of the sector is equal to... 6.5 square centimetres. So we know that the area of the sector from what we've done in class is equal to the angle. Now sometimes we call the angle theta. I'm just going to write the word angle. So the angle out of 360 times pi r squared will give me the area of the sector. Now what I'm going to do next is develop a formula for the angle here. Now that times pi r squared, I'm going to bring that down and divide here so that it's the area of the sector divided by pi r squared is equal to the angle over 360. Now that's now a formula that you're looking to remember. Okay, so copy that one down and try and remember it. The area of the sector over pi r squared equals the angle over 360. Now where did that come from? Well, the area of the sector is equal to the angle out of 360 times pi r squared. So all I've done is bring that times pi r squared to our side, bring it down and divide. Okay, So area 60 divided by pi r squared is equal to that angle over 360. Now what I can do next is cross multiply. Now what's cross multiplication? Well cross multiplication is when you've got a fraction that's equal to another fraction. So if that, for example, if you get half a pizza, that's the same as two quarters of a pizza, so they would be equal. Well, when you've got two fractions that are equal to each other, the diagonals always multiply to give the same result. So, 1 times 4 is 4, and 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Okay, so we can do that here. Area of a sector times 360 is equal to the angle times pi r squared. So let's take that down. Area of the sector times 360 is equal to the angle times pi r squared. Okay. Right, now, the only thing that I'm going to do now is just switch these over. So if that's equal to that, I can say that that is equal to that. Dead, dead simple. So the angle times pi r squared is equal to the area of the sector times 360. Okay, so the angle is equal to the area of the sector times 360 divided by pi r squared. Okay, now I can put in some numbers. So the angle, well, I'm calling that x. Let's say that that's x is equal to the area of the 60 times 360. So I can get the area of the sector. That's up there. That's 6.5. So that's now 6.5 times 360 divided by pi times the radius squared. And that's pi times 5 squared. Okay, you're looking to... Enter all that into your calculator into one decimal place that will give me 29.8 degrees. Now have a go at that if you don't get it first time. If you're still struggling, give me a shout when you get back into class and I'll help you out with it. So it's 6.5 times 360 divided by pi times 5 squared down the bottom. Easier done if you've got a scientific calculator. So make sure you've got one of them soon. Let's take down example 2. Okay, example 2. Okay, so we've got a sector, again I'm going to call the angle x degrees, the radius this time is 10 centimetres. Now, don't need to go through all the starting work to get going, other than to say that the area of the sector is 40 square centimetres. So I can now cut straight to this formula, you just need to make sure that you remember it, which is that the area of the sector over pi r squared is equal to the angle over 360. Now it's at this point I'm going to start to put in numbers this time. So the area of the sector is 40. So where does the area of a sector put in 40? So it's going to be 40 
over pi times the radius squared, so that's 10 squared, is equal to the angle over 360. I'm then going to do the cross multiplying. So cross multiply, multiply the diagonals together. So the angle times pi times 10 squared is going to be equal to 40 times 360. Okay, I now want the angle in itself, x degrees. So I bring that full bit down. Okay, so that pi times 10 squared, I bring that all down and divide. Okay, I then put that into the calculator. 40 times 360 over pi times 10 squared. Enter that into the calculator into one decimal place. That's 45.8 degrees, the final answer. Okay, example three. Okay, the angle again, x degrees, the radius this time is 5 centimetres and the area of the sector is equal to 30 square centimetres. Okay, so let's get our formula down again, which is the area of the sector over pi r squared is equal to the angle over 360. Okay, so let's now put in some numbers. So the area of the sector, as I can see, the area of the sector is 30. So 30 over pi times the radius squared, 5 squared, is equal to the angle over 360. I can then cross multiply the angle times pi times 5 squared. So that's me multiplied that diagonal is equal to 30 times 360. Okay, I then bring the times pi times 5 squared down and divide. And that will be 30 times 360 divided by pi times 5 squared. Okay, and enter into the calculator. And to one decimal place, it's 137.5 degrees. Let's take down example four. Okay, so example four. Okay, so the angle again is called x. The radius this time is three centimeters. And the area of the sector is equal to 18 square centimeters. Okay, so it's the same formula again, never the changes, just make sure you remember it, it won't be given to you in a formula sheet. You need to remember that one, so area of the sector over pi r squared is equal to the angle over 360. Okay, so what's the area of the sector this time? 18, so where is the area of the sector? Replace it with 18, so 18 over pi times the radius squared, the radius is 3, pi times 3 squared is equal to the angle over 360. I'm now in a position to cross multiply that times that equals that times that. Let's mark that in. So the angle times pi times 3 squared is equal to 18 times 360. Okay, then I bring the pi times 3 squared down and divide it just like last time. The angle then is equal to 18 times 360 divided by pi times 3 squared. Okay, so enter all that into the calculator into one decimal place. That will give me 229.2 degrees. Okay, let's try one final one. Example 5. Okay, the radius this time is 12 centimetres, and again, the angle is called x. The area of the sector is equal to 270 square centimetres. Okay, so, the formula again, area of the sector over pi r squared equals angle over 360. Let's put some numbers in. Okay, so I'm now going to move over here. So the area of the sector is 270. 270 over pi times the radius squared, that's pi times 12 squared, 
is equal to the angle over 360. Okay, let me cross multiply. Angle times pi times 12 squared is equal to 278 times 360. Then I'm going to bring the times pi times 12 squared down and divide. And that will be angle equals 278 times 360 divided by pi times 12 squared. Okay, enter all in the calculator. Into one decimal place then, that will give me for the angle 214.9 degrees final answer. Okay, so now you're going to try these three. The first one, we're looking for the angle x degrees, the radius is 7, the area of sector is 13, that's 13. Question 2, you're looking for the angle x again, the radius is 5, the area of sector is 30. And finally, question 3, there's the angle x, the radius this time is 20, and the area of the sector is 820. Okay, so just follow the same pattern as questions we've done before. If you're having problems with putting it into the calculator to get the final answer at the end, let me know tomorrow and we'll sort that out. But it's easiest done if you've got a scientific calculator.